12 beast mode fragrances on a budget. The voice of the snake. If your budget's $400. Oh my God. This is a beast mode fragrance by Gucci. Ooh, oud saffron and patchouli. On my hand already, seven hours. The scent profile of this is like there's some sort of raspberry. I love this fragrance. I'll drown myself in it. You might look up what has oud, saffron, and patchouli, but I guarantee you it won't produce this scent. Another fragrance that smells good is called Gucci Guilty Oud, and then there's Gucci Perome Oud. The way that Gucci makes their oud is absolutely sexy. And if you look on Fragrantica, they tell you that this Gucci Guilty Absolute smells like it because this is like 80 bucks, this is 400 bucks. Don't believe the hype. This has leather. It's much more fecal and animalic, not saying that it's bad. It's definitely a beast mode on a budget, if your budget's 80. This will be at like a high-end boutique. Many of the fragrances near the end of the list will be at a mall. The rest of the stuff you're gonna have to look around online. Amber of the Orient by a new company called Anfar. Rose Spicy Oud that lasts 16 hours. Smells like Maison Francis Kirk de Jin's Oud Satin Oud. Royal Imperial London. At first, I thought it smelled like Chanel of your own. A viewer commented and said, put this against Hasibat, and I did, and it's like five minutes later dry down. This thing smells exactly like Hasibat, and it also lasts 16 hours. I don't want to go off on La Tapa, this is a beautiful fragrance I'm about to talk about, but these fragrances crush and stomp on La Tafa. Performance is outstanding. Ancient Oud, and it smells like something called Paco Rabanne 1 million. Really strong and really long lasting. It's like Paco Rabanne 1 million on steroids. This is Elixir. Maybe you should buy Paco Rabanne 1 million Elixir because it's also a beast mode on someone's budget. When you go shopping, for fragrances, set yourself up with a budget. That's my advice to you. What is your budget? $75. What is your budget? $200. Then you have a question. Do I want to buy one fragrance for $100 or do I want to buy three fragrances that are clones for $100? Answer that question down in the comments below and the winner. Oh, I guess I'll give away this. Salvatore Ferragamo Casual Life, a medium longevity fragrance, six hours. I found this for $25. It has coffee notes and citrus for summer, spring, time. I want to give that to you. Someone will get it. Pure Excess Night is definitely a $60, 3.4 ounce average price beast mode fragrance on a budget. Lasts all day and... The projection is like insanity on this fragrance. Man, Sarah's Black Gold. This is about a $200 fragrance on a discount site and I'm going to spray it right here. Oh. Oh, what a delicious fragrance for $200. This is called The Masterpiece by Yenfar. It's also black and gold. Gee, I wonder why they did that. A little bit more synthetic as it dries down. It's almost identical to this fragrance. So here you go, $49 versus $200. Beast Mode's on a budget, baby. Tobacco Rush, it's a very sexy wearable fragrance with tobaccos. Oods, very well balanced. And every woman I've let smell, absolutely love it. This is called Tobacco Rush. This one is much nicer, much brighter, and more well balanced with the other notes. Oh, wow. Smells like Tom Ford Tobacco Oud, which is discontinued. Let me just spray the room. It's, my dog is all on it. Oh, this is called Febreze Air Wood. This is a clone of Tobacco Vanille for your house. You can use this $3 fragrance here. Dior Sauvage Elixir. Definitely a beast mode if your budget's $150. For two ounces. Now you have this fragrance, La Tapa Asad. One of the most accurate representations of this. As the hype of fragrances are on, La Tapa comes through. Now, what is the difference? La Tapa's fragrance does not give you to me the same effect when i spray this i can feel it it makes you feel better than this one if you're just a dude who wants to smell like this you could just tell people i'm wearing dior sauvage elixir buy it get red tobacco no doubt it's very strong for winter not for beginners but level two people who have already started their collection you want to get something for your wife why don't you get her flower bomb it's about 150 dollars but i did find this cool fragrance balmain is a really cool ritzy brand and you could buy this for like i don't know 30 40 dollars it has rose and orchid. This has citrus, rose, and orchids, but it has vanilla. It's almost like this. Just got it right now. God, I'm persona. They really have some strange, hard to pronounce words. Does anyone know about this? Comment down below, because I can't even smell it. 
Next fragrance that you should get and buy on a budget, Armani Code Eau de Parfum 2021 release. Why would you wanna get this? Because it's got citrus, and vanilla, and lavender, and it lasts 12 hours on my skin. And I got compliments from my car when someone was walking their dog, and I'm in my car with the air conditioning on, roll down my window. Oh my God, you smell so good. So in fact, I'll spray it over whatever else I'm wearing. That's how good it smells. This is called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Male Le Parfum. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, which is sweeter than this, more youthful, extremely long lasting, and the price tags dropped to about $60, $70. If you want it to smell like this on the budget, find yourself Afnon 9 p.m. Smells identical to it. 9 p.m. Smells like Ultra Male on steroids. The next fragrance I found it's so cool, Terry de Santal. This is the box for it. I gave the other bottle away to my friend that I had opened and I sprayed it. And four hours later, I was with a girl and another person. I go, who smells so good? And then two hours after that, I was alone and I remembered I sprayed this on. And if you wanna hear about the whole entire review of this, just click this button right here. Peace. Come on.